guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and if you already know who I am, welcome back. Today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup look that looks like this right here. I'm going to be using a very special palette to my heart right now and it's this one right here. I'm going to be using this palette and the new foundation that Urban Decay just came out with. Keep watching if you guys want to see this makeup look and if you want to follow me on any social media, it will be down below. So make sure you check that out. What is these hand motions? Seriously, what are these? Oh. Guys, so I already did my eyebrows off camera and I used the Anastasia Dip Brow and this is in medium brown. So that is done. Now I'm going to be priming my eyes and I'm going to be using the NYX Eyebrow Base and this is in Blanco in white. And I'm just going to be using my finger to apply it. I just did my lids, they're primed, they are set. Since the Moon Dust palette is all pressed glitter, I am going to be using another palette, the Kat Von D palette, since I think everyone has this palette, so it'll be easy to get your hands on it. The first color that I'm going to be using from this palette is this white right here. I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids to have a nice smooth base for the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be taking this brown right here, it's like the lightest brown that there is in this palette and I'm just going to put this on the top of my crease, so like right over here and I'm just going to be blending this out. done and excuse the craziness we're gonna end up wiping it off anyways because since it is glitter we're gonna have fallout and we're gonna have to end up cleaning it up i'm gonna be taking this color right over here and i'm gonna be glaring that where the crease is at I'm taking this nice grayish brown and I'm putting that all over my eyelid like so. And before we go to the Moon Dust palette, I'm just going to blend out everything because since it is glitter, it might disappear. So I'm just going to blend out everything. Now I'm taking the Moon Dust palette and I'm taking this color right here, it's like a nice gray silvery color and this one is called Granite, so I'm just going to take my brush I'm going to try using my finger Okay, that was way better Okay, this is driving me a little bit nuts, so I'm going to just wipe it off with the makeup wipe. I'm going to go back to the Kat Von D palette. I'm going to be adding some of the black. Dab it a little bit. So I'm going to just add some right over here. I'm adding the black eyeshadow in the outer of my eyelid. That way it could have a little bit more of a definition. I'm actually going to take a little bit more glitter and just take it over the black. I love this right now. I am digging it. So I decided I am going to do eyeliner and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This is hard. I really want to do a wing though. Hope we will meet there. 
there it is. I popped in the eyeliner and I didn't do a wing so I am very proud. And now I'm going to be doing my foundation and I'm going to be using the... What? Why is this not... The foundation, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter. This says that it has full coverage and it has a matte finish and oil-free finish. And it's, it's also waterproof. And I did already wear this foundation and I loved it. It did stay on and I was like, yes. And I was sweating a lot. So, and that was still on my face. So, okay, so I'm just going to dab it here, here. Here. I'm doing one side of my face first because this does kind of dry up fast and I'm not using a concealer this time because it is full coverage and I don't have like really bad bags or dark circles. So that is the foundation on my face girl that covered every Thing. Let's just carry on with the rest of the face. Why do I always have to do this? It's like Holy. I'm gonna be using the butter bronzer from Fastigian Formula. Now what I'm gonna be doing is taking this right here oh you guys can even see this color from the Kat Von D palette it's like a pinky color and I feel like you can use this as a blush we will find out right now if we can let's place it on here this eyeshadow did work as a blush especially if you have a lighter skin tone this will work perfectly as a blush now for the highlight I'm going to be using the Becca highlighter and this is the opal and I'm gonna be popping this right on here. Or get it open. Oop, wrong side. Why do I always do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. I love it. I'm gonna put some on my nose. And I'm gonna put some here. Now I'm just gonna take the axis that was on here. I put it on my lips. Like this. Mm. Looks like a weird milk stash. It's a highlight mustache. So now I'm going to be taking the Smashbox liquid lipstick. And this one is in Chill Zone. I've been looking for this damn color everywhere. And I couldn't find it. It was always out of stock. And I was just like, why? But then I went to Macy's and they had it. And I got it because... I just couldn't anymore with Sephora because they would always be sold out and I was just I was just like no, no mas. I almost forgot about the lashes, so I'm gonna be using the Ardell Glamour Wispies and this is in the number 105 and I'm just gonna pop these babies right on. Already put in my lashes and now for the mascara I'm going to be using the Urban Decay mascara and this one is called Perversion. I'm actually gonna be taking a little bit of this brown grayish color. I'm gonna be putting this under my waterline right over here. I'm going to be taking a little bit, just a little bit of black and I'm going to be putting this into the middle. You can't really see what I'm doing but what I am doing here is just blending out everything and making it seem kind of smoky. I'm going to be taking the same mascara and putting it on the bottom lash line. Taking the same highlighter, I'm just going to be putting it on the inner corner and just making sure it glows like so. And I'm working it towards here. I don't even know if y'all could see, but that looks lit to the other side as well. I 
Alright guys, that's the end of the video and thank you for staying all the way until the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below and everything I use will be down below if you guys are interested in any of the products. If you want to follow me in any other social media, it will be down below as well. So, bye, see you next time. We out.